Hey guys, I decided to do a closet tour video today. I was inspired to do this by Randy Hutchinson. If you don't follow her, you should. I love her channel. Um, she's also a full-time reseller, but I was going through my closet um, today, which is Saturday, to um, look through it again for items to resell, and I just decided to do this. So we're just going to get started. It's a mess. I mean, it's not too bad. It's So we have these shelves up here, and then this side of... The closet is Frankie's stuff, but this is my side. Um, so there are some things in here that I'm reselling, but I like occasionally wear it in the meantime until it sells. Um, so we're going to start here. This is a Levi's blazer. Um, let's see if I can take it off to show you better. This is a Levi's blazer. I bought this at a, um, a more pricey thrift store, like a kind of an upscale thrift store um and i thought it was really cool the patch here and all of the rest i honestly haven't worn it since i got it so i was considering selling that but i still have it for now um next we have this fossil belt i featured this in a thrift haul and then i decided to keep it i actually wear this all the time it's like my main belt um and i seriously only have like one other belt and it's a vintage levi's brown leather belt as well and I don't know where that is right now but it's in here somewhere this is the sweater that you saw in my last video which I actually am wearing all the time it's for sale right now if you want to buy it but um I have been wearing it in the meantime and I do love it um this is a just a bell sleeve lace kimono kind of coverall yeah, it's mostly a kimono. It's from Target. Um, just Massimo or Acceleration, actually. This is for sale right now, but I do wear it from time to time. It's just Victoria's Secret pink. But since I work from home, I like to wear a lot of, like, the baggier, like, pullover sweaters. And I like the fit of that because it is a bit baggy. Um, same with the denim baggy shirts. I'm obsessed with these big denim shirts. I bought this one to resell. I bought it at a thrift store and then I kept it. And it's like seriously one of my favorite shirts ever. It's vintage poo. Um, I think it has a button missing, but I still wear it all the time. I also wear this all the time. This is a Free People um, lace sweater I got from Millie and Monica's closet, which I featured in a an unboxing video. Um, I wear this all the time. It's a medium, so it's a bit oversized on me, which I love to wear with leggings. This is a really cozy sweater from American Eagle that I wear all the time. I like it because it has like this cowl neck and it goes up a bit farther on your neck so it's really warm and it's fleecy inside. Um, this is by the brand IZ Buyer. I'm not familiar with that brand but it's like a oriental style um, floral zip up jacket and it's really lightweight so it's it almost has a satiny feel. Um, I wear that in the spring. This is another sweater that I got from Millie Monica. I bundled a couple things I featured in the video, and this has these really cool bell sleeves. I have worn that a few times. This is for sale right now, and I was trying it on. That's why it's in here, but I didn't end up actually wearing it. I do really love it. Um, it's a kimono from Lucky Brand, and it has this tie. The only thing I don't like is that the tie is actually stitched on, so you can't take it off. I would prefer it if it was just this as like a cardigan and you could um, take that off. It has a hood too, which is really awesome. So that is for sale right now if you guys are interested. Look, I have my Disney shirts in a row. So this is, um, I bundled two Disney shirts that are vintage on Posh. And I haven't gotten a chance to wear it more than once yet because of the weather. But when spring comes, I will definitely be wearing that and then i also bundled it with this one and this is from the same seller on posh and i love both of them especially to wear with like leggings or i like to wear these with like a darker pair of jeans um even though it's denim so it's like a different contrast of denim this is a tommy hill figure or not tommy hill figure ralph lauren sorry um cobalt blue i really love the color and i really love the buttons on here they're like it's just a really nice sweater. It's a size large, but I think someone shrunk it. I've had this for a long time. I thrifted it. Everything in here that you see is thrifted. Um, 
except a, maybe a few exceptions that I'll talk about. Um, this I've had forever, to be honest. I don't wear it too much, I might resell it. But I do like the denim shirts, if you can't tell. This is for sale right now in my posh closet, but I have worn it a few times. It's this vintage granny cardigan. I think it's so beautiful, and it has these chunky buttons. Um, yeah, so that's for sale. This I also thrifted to resell, and then I ended up keeping it. It's by the brand Marled Reunite, Reunited Clothing. I bought it for these awesome bell sleeves. It's just plain black, but then it has the white up there. It's really pretty. I haven't really had a chance to wear that yet. Um, this is a simple Banana Republic denim jacket. This is a black poncho that I got at a festival. Um, we have a really big Oktoberfest up here, and they sell these ponchos, and I've worn this so many times. It is so warm, and it has the fringe at the bottom. I also wore this for a Halloween costume. Um, one year when I dressed up as Stevie Nicks. So that was a lot of fun. This shirt, I don't think there's a brand on here. There's like no tag. But this is just a long, soft um, tie-dye pullover shirt, like button-down. If you can't tell, I really like the button-down long shirts because I wear a ton of leggings. And if I'm not wearing leggings, I'm wearing like jean leggings. And it also has that pocket there. <laughs> This sweater I might resell. I've worn it a lot, but it's H&M. Um, I wear it a lot around the holidays. It does have a pull right there. It's just nice for like the holiday season. It has this fringe detail there. I think that's cute. I think I actually bought that at the store, H&M, if I remember correctly. I love this shirt. It says Missing Dog Reward. I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, and I was just looking at it to consider reselling it, but... Um, I think in spring I'm going to wear it. I think I thrifted this sometime in the winter or the late fall. So by that point, it was already too cold to kind of wear it. But I can see this tucked into like some high-waisted jeans. So I really love that. This is another shirt that I um, wore in a recent video. I think I wore this in my Sarth's video. It's a Walmart brand. It's like white stag, but it has the paw prints and the bone. My arm is starting to hurt from doing this. This is in Adidas, just plain zip up, classic pullover and it has the hood. I wear this a lot actually um, and I really like the way it fits on me. This is just a plain American Eagle denim jacket. I've had that forever, it's a bit cropped. I might resell this actually. Actually I am gonna resell that because I just noticed I have three denim jackets in here and I don't need that many denim jackets. So. That's going in the resale pile. Um, this is a Victoria's Secret pink, just black, plain flare dress. I like to wear that a lot in the spring with like a denim jacket or another jacket um, or cardigan over it. This is a really simple plain piece. It's just a Massimo black um, cropped cardigan. I bought that for when I was in a wedding last year and I needed it for to go over a jumpsuit. Um, this piece I actually did buy, sorry for my camera work here, it's really hard to do this one-handed. I bought this at uh, TJ Maxx quite a few years ago, I thought it was really cute with the cherry print, and I do still wear this in the summer, so I might wear that for like one more season and then resell it. This is a really pretty floral long kimono, it's just from H&M, nothing wants to stay on the hanger. Um, but I wear that a lot in the summer with like just shorts. Um, so yeah, I wear that a lot. This is um, Forever 21. I bought this in the fall to wear with like a chunky cardigan and boots, but I never ended up wearing it. So I'm hoping I'm gonna wear it sometime in the spring or summer. Um, this piece is super cute. It's got all these little jellyfish all over it and turtles. It's by the brand. I think it's like a Kohl's brand. I thrifted it though. S-O, so use, something like that. It's from Kohl's, I believe. And that's not gonna wanna stay on the hanger, so. All right, this piece here, this is my absolute favorite pair of overalls ever. They're vintage Gap and they have like this carpenter style and they're a medium, so they're a loose fit on me. 
but I really like them like that because they're very like boyfriend style and they're cropped. I kid you not, I wear these like every other day in the summer and spring. So I'm really excited to bring those out. Um, this piece is really cool. I thrifted this to resell and then I ended up keeping it. It's just Forever 21, but it's a cropped tie front and then it has these ginormous bell sleeves, which I would show you, but um, I have to hold the camera. And then it's very sheer, paisley. I just love bell sleeves and I think they're really unique. Um, and I love like boho 70s style, so it reminds me of that. This is a vintage L.L. Bean piece. I got it at a flea market last year. Um, it's really cool because it has all these vegetables all over it. I featured this in a thrift haul uh, over the summer, I think. I got this piece at the exact same flea market. Um, so it's a flea market that we go to every Sunday, pretty much every Sunday or every other Sunday. And they have great stuff. And this is such a cool piece. It's just sleeveless. It's by the brand Skinny Mini which I did start looking her up on Posh, and she has some really cool pieces. Um, so I'm a fan of that brand. These are a, these are almost like a sweatpant fabric. So they're super comfortable. What brand is this? It doesn't have a brand. Oh, I think I, when I looked these up, they were Venus, but for some reason the tag is ripped out. My aunt gave these to me and I wear them all the time. They have pockets um, and they're a bit cuffed at the bottom, if you can see that and they have that tie in the front. So I wear those all the time. If you can't tell, I love overalls. Um, these are some vests that I do not wear. They're in here because they're just in here, but I don't wear them. They're very old. I do not have good luck selling vests on Poshmark or anywhere. They just never sell for me. So I stopped listing them basically. Um, this is a really cool vintage vest I got at a thrift store in Savannah, Georgia. When we, we went on a road trip when I was 23 so this was like five years ago um really cool unique designs i do wear that in the summer sometimes with a tank top underneath and just some shorts i'm not much of a vest person myself it looks like i am i used to be but not anymore so this is another vest um it's just like acid wash this is in here from back when i worked in corporate <laughs> and i left my house um this is inc it's just a military style blazer. It's just black. Um, back when I used to have like an office job, this is the same kind of thing. I don't wear this anymore. Um, it's from, what brand is this? This is Ann Taylor Loft and it's part wool. It is really cute. The 3D flowers are cute. I just don't have anywhere to wear stuff like that. Um, this is another poncho I got at a festival and I honestly don't wear that anymore, but it's in here, so maybe I'll resell that like next season or donate it. Um, this is a 100% wool sweater my dad got me from Ireland, and it's white ivory. I like these pieces just to wear with jeans in the winter. Um, it's actually from Ireland, pure new wool. Yeah, super cool piece. It's very itchy, so I always have to wear a long sleeve under it, but this is just Forever 21. My camera won't focus. Hold on one second. Okay, this is just Forever 21, simple overall skirt, but I liked how it had the buttons on each side, and I did buy that to resell, but I kept it. Um, this is back when LuLaRoe was popular, and I did actually like LuLaRoe, I'm afraid to say, um, because now I am aware of all the MLM, multi-level marketing videos out there on YouTube that are raising awareness about bad companies like this and I did not know at the time any of that so if I had known that at the time I would not have supported this company but and if you don't know what I'm look what I'm talking about you can look up all the scandals online about that but um I mean I like the piece I bought this around Christmas time and to be honest I have worn it a few times since but it's not the kind of um piece that you can wear very often because it's very like memorable um these are my jewelry things. I'm not going to go over, like, all my jewelry, just my clothing right now. But this piece I was considering selling. It's denim and co. This really pretty denim blazer with this nice floral detail. Again, I feel like I have nowhere to wear this because it is a bit of a dressier blazer. I like how it has this rounded part at the bottom. Um, I'm not sure if I'll keep that yet. This is a... 
vintage, just no name brand. I think it's vintage anyway, I'm not really sure. Um, pinstripe shirt, kind of boring. Uh, this piece, I don't even know why this is in here. I've had this so, so long. It's cropped, tropical kind of sheer thing. It's pretty cute. I don't wear it anymore. So that's just in there for whatever reason. Um, this is just Morona by Target, but I think it's cute. It's a denim frayed shirt, short sleeve. I like to wear it with shorts in the summer. This is a cool piece. This is vintage. Um, I was considering reselling it, but this is a great piece to wear at the beach, like as a cover up. And that's exactly how I wore it last summer when I went to Rhode Island. I think I wore it on like July 4th. Um, it's got all these boats all over it. Really cool piece. Another vest that I do not wear, but I won't resell because it won't sell. Same here. I buy all these vests thinking I'll wear them and then I never do. So, yes. Um, sorry, this is kind of a mess over here. This is just Forever 21 faux leather red jacket. Classic, you know, for um, the spring. This is a long, chunky cardigan I love from apartment nine. I actually wear this a lot just around the house when I'm cold, but I do wear it out um, in the spring and summer. This is Forever 21 and I did get a lot of wear out of this. Very Dolly Parton-esque with the fringe. Um, super cool piece that I think I will still wear it. That's why it's in here. It's, it's suede or faux suede. Um, this is a vintage piece very hard to do this one-handed here's the tag there it's actually from kmart designed in california very vintage um it's a very bohemian vibe my camera won't focus i bought it because i love the colors it's got buttons up the front i don't even think this is doing it justice but you can see it's just got a very weird but unique design and there's some of the like strange things on there if it would focus um anyway i've only worn that a couple times but i do like that piece um this is just a plain black jumpsuit that i thrifted and i have worn a few times it has this cute like the top is very cute and i like the thick straps i just dropped something this is just the chunky velvety kind of cardigan that fell this is ll bean i got this for christmas one year um, I like just a plain L.L. Bean fleece. They're cozy. This is a cool piece. This is Wilson's leather. I got this at the thrift store about 10 years ago. I've had this since I was 18. And it's super cool. I remember wearing it to community college when I went to community college, like my first year. Um, I might try to sell this because even though it's a vest, it is very unique. So I think it will sell. And to be honest, I didn't wear this all fall or winter. So I think this is going in my resell pile. Okay. This is a cool piece as well. The brand is For Joseph. Um, and it has this cool, these cool arrows. Again, I love the denim shirts. This is just Wild Fable. It's a long plaid cardigan, not cardigan, blazer. But it's got, like, it's very soft. It feels more like, it's a very, um, what's the word? Like, it moves very well on you. It, it doesn't feel like a stiff blazer. This is a plaid zip-up vintage shirt. I don't even know the brand. St. Martin. Same with this one. I clearly like gingham and plaid. This is an Old Navy plaid cape. I really like to wear this around the holidays. Sometimes I do just wear it around the house. It's just a comfy piece. Um, these are a really cool pair of uh, a jumpsuit, I should say. Plaid jumpsuit. It's from Wild Fable and Target. Uh, I'm considering reselling this because I don't wear it anymore. So I think that will go in the resell pile. Um, and I also have so many overalls and things that I just don't think I need this many items in my closet. So... This is a jumpsuit I bought for last May for a wedding. Um, I wore it once. I do think I could possibly wear it again, though. I have some, like, bachelorette parties, 
and different wedding things to go to already this year so that's gonna stay in there and we'll see if I wear it and if I don't I will resell it um I love this piece this is international concepts but I really like how it's like a waffle you know zip up cardigan but it has like this kind of acid wash effect I don't know I think it's really different um, this is a piece that I got in Millie Monica's closet and I got in that same bundle I showed you guys. It's one of those Peruvian super soft um, sweaters. This is just the brand. What is the brand? Okay, I can't find the tag right now, but it's chunky, you know, gray turtleneck, super cozy. I wore that in the video. Um, this is another L.L. Bean thing I got for Christmas. Uh, I probably wouldn't have picked this color out myself, but I do like it. It's just a plain spring jacket. I have a lot of L.L. Bean in my closet because my mom's boyfriend gets it for me for Christmas. Um, here's another L.L. Bean piece I wear a lot. It's a purple, deep purple cable knit uh, zip-up sweater. It's got a hoodie on it. Don't mind the dog hair. You guys know I have lots of dogs. This is also L.L. Bean, a corduroy green piece with plaid on the inside. I wear that all the time. This sweater is for sale in my posh closet, but I have worn it a few times. It's got this argyle effect and it's long, so I wear it with leggings. I don't wear this anymore. I just wear this like for like housework in the fall, um, or not housework, yard work in the fall. This is just Wild Fable from Target. I do love that brand. It's a green cropped flannel. It's very holiday-esque. Another vest that I bought but I never wear. This is a very cool piece though. Um, it's got like the this really unique design. It is cool. I could probably wear it to a festival or a concert or something like that. Um, this is a gap jacket quilted. I like the design on here, and I like that it has the pockets and a zipper front. I believe it's Gap. I think so. Okay, so moving on to up here. This is a little messy, so I'll try to show you as much as I can while holding the camera. Um, it's going to be a little harder because everything's not hung up, but these pants are Zara. They're like a simple but stretchy band pant and they have like wide legs they're very comfortable um and i wear them with like a denim jacket in the spring i really like the boho kind of design on there some of this stuff again i don't really wear anymore but like this for example i don't wear i'll probably edit this part out um another pair of overalls i'm not going to show you guys like all my jeans and stuff i think that would be boring i just want to show you the main stuff um, you can kind of see it from hung up here, but it's just Target and they're wide leg and I think they're cropped. It has these cute buttons on the side, so a lot of times I'll wear this with like a bandeau underneath in the summer. It's a very lightweight pair of overalls, so it, you can wear it in the summer because it's not heavy. Um, this is a striped Nautica sweater that I wore in my last video. It I thrifted it to resell, but then I found out there was a tiny stain on it. Enough where I didn't feel comfortable to resell it. It's a size large. There's a stain. Um, but I like it because it fits me oversized. So I think it's really cute. And it's very cozy. Over here, what do we have? I have this. Oh my gosh, I have so many overalls. <sighs> this is a pair of an overall dress from Forever 21. Kind of black denim, super cute. I wear that a lot in the summer. A Forever 21 uh, faux leather skirt. It's very cute. I just don't have anywhere to wear this. I will wait it out because I do have those bachelorette parties and stuff to go to. Um, and I love this stud design. I think it's very cool. I just don't go anywhere. So there's that. Um, trying to see what else I have up here. Okay. These are just a brand, um, or a pair of overall shorts. I actually got these at the bins with my sister. She picked them out for me, and then I kept them. 
It's by the brand Tinseltown, but they're like cuffed at the bottom. Just a pair of overall shorts. Um, count how many overalls I've shown you guys because that's pretty much all I wear besides like leggings. Um, this is a really cool, if I can get it, it's stuck right now. This is a really cool vintage Tommy sweater I've had forever. Um, I'm talking like 10 years. Uh, yeah, it's very cool. I wore this in a thrift haul video. I don't know if anyone noticed, but I love this sweater. I think it's very cool. It has, it's just super 90s, really awesome. You guys are gonna laugh at this one. This is a really funny shirt I got off Poshmark. It's from 1993 and I could not resist because I thought it was so amazing. And it says contact question mark. And I wear this in the summer with like shorts. I like to creep people out when I wear it. So yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much it guys. I'm not gonna show you like my jeans and stuff cause that would be boring. Um, my favorite pair of J. Crew jeans I can tell you are just like the high-waisted button fly ones. I don't even know the style. Um, I can show you some of my shoes. I have a pair of Timberland boots I wear all the time. I have this pair of um, Nike wedge sneakers that I have worn, I just don't wear a lot. These are super cool. These are by the brand Tuck, T-U-K. They're called Creepers when you see like that big platform. I don't wear them as much as I should. I got them off Posh, but I do love those. These are bass. I wear them all the time. As you can see, I wore them recently dog sitting for like mud and like spring season. These are Doc Martens. Um, I wear these a lot. You can't really tell because they're in really good shape. These are a pair of clogs that shouldn't be in here right now because it's not summer, but I got these on a uh, really weird Instagram brand. Like, I got sucked into one of those ads, and they're from this Chinese brand, and they literally took like two months to even ship, so wouldn't recommend that company. However, they are really well made and very comfortable for the, like, style. These are a brand of Topshop Moto boots that I bought to resell and then I ended up keeping. Um, they're very loud when I walk, but they're super cool. These are a pair of Vans. I have another pair of low top Vans that are in the living room right now, so I can't show you, but I love Vans and I wear them all the time. A pair of Minnetonka moccasins. One of these has the string like broken, unfortunately. Um, these are for sale right now. I did wear them recently when it was raining out, so they shouldn't be cleaned up, but they're cool. These are another pair of Minnetonkas. Again, everything you see here has been thrifted except for the couple things I told you I bought, and I think I got these for Christmas. And then I have more shoes in here. Um, and I probably can't show you my bags because those are like kind of a mess right now, but these are honestly from Walmart, but I wear them all the time in the summer. I think this year I want to get a pair of Vans slip-ons, the ones that look like that. I have a pair of Keds, simple. I wear them all the time. I have another pair of Keds. I also wear those all the time. I think I got both of these actually at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. These are just a plain, simple pair of Roxy boots. Um... I have these heels in here that I don't wear and I swore I was going to wear someday because I think they're so beautiful and I thrifted them to resell and then I was like, well, these are too beautiful to sell, but and then I just have a white pair of Converse back there. Um, I have another black pair of Converse I'm probably going to sell because I don't wear, I don't really wear Converse that often. Anyway, I have more shoes than that, but they are kind of scattered about the house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's pretty long, longer than I thought it would be. Um, but let me know what your favorite pieces were and I'll see you guys later. Bye. I did find where my other things were. So these are another pair of my favorite Vans. Um, I love the gray color. Got them at a yard sale last summer for $5. I do love these boots. They're very dirty right now, but I thrifted them. <clears throat> they kind of have a 90s vibe to me. Um, and they're just the brand White Mountain. Here's a lot of my stuff up here. That's why I wanted to show you guys 
um, is an ASOS jacket. I wear this all the time. It's got some dog hair on it right now. Um, it's real leather and then it's got like the tapestry and it zip up. This was my favorite jacket this winter. I thrifted this to resell and then I ended up keeping it. It's a Burton jacket. It's like beautiful. It has these really unique buttons that button all the way across and then it's just plain black, which I really needed a plain black warm jacket and it's Burton and I got it in a $5 bag sale. So that was like an amazing find. This jacket is going to be my go-to for the spring. Um, I got this at the donation-based thrift store and it's this denim patchwork jacket. It's just so amazing. And I love the velvet detail on there. It's just think it's really boho and cool. And the buttons are very unique too. I think one of them ended up falling off. Again, I wish I knew how to sew, but I don't. Um, so this is my this is my Poshmark hat that I got when Poshmark re releases their like merchandise. My fur mom hat that I got to resell and then I ended up keeping. Um, Steve Madden, but I wear it a lot. I really like how like the chain details and it's a crossbody and you can also take this off. Um, it's always good to have a plain black bag. This is another bag. I actually got this from Frankie's sister for Christmas and I've really been liking it for the spring. I think it's from Target. And I ended up finding a few other things of my favorites I just wanted to talk about quick. So this pair of jeans, I know I said I wasn't gonna show you jeans, but these are just so cool. Um, they're H&M and they're covered in paint. I don't know if they were made to be like that or if someone did that, but they're also high-waisted and like super stretchy, which I love. These are my favorite pair of Levi's. They are the 535 Super Skinny, um, but they're different because they have the um, star studs and then the heart right there and the heart down here and they're also raw hem. So I really love those. They're unfortunately a bit tight on me right now, but um, these are also my favorite pair of J Crew jeans that I mentioned before. I just figured I'd show you. I love the button fly and they're high-waisted. They're J Crew Mercantile. I don't know if they have the style name in here. Let's see. But they're like my favorite pair of jeans. I would probably purchase another pair of these in a different color. Looks like they're from fall 2018. The back is just simple. I wear those like every week and they're just plain skinny. Uh, this is kind of a funny find. Um, I thrifted this to resell originally and then kept it. I feel like I say that all the time. It's from the 90s. Part of this started coming off, but before I washed it more, it said like 1995 or something. Um, it's by the brand Ambiance. I just think it's really cute, especially for the summer. This is a tank top I wear a lot in the spring summer. It says Flower Symphony on it. I really like how it's got this like purple border. And it also has a built-in bra, which I love. And then the back detailing is cute. It's very stretchy too. And then this is a pair of Zara Trafalic leggings, but they are gingham and they also have the button fly. Um, they're high-waisted and I wear these all the time. Um, I often wear these with like a long denim shirt and they're just like really easy to throw on and very comfortable. So that's definitely it guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.